Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Ajax, our Youth Academy Challenge in progress of course. As you can see here, Feyenoord actually lost away at Den Haag with a 92nd minute goal there. So that's you know that's them slipped with our way. They are one point ahead of us now with no games in hand left. So that's good news for us at least. Here in Wien however won again and are miles out in front. They're nine points clear. Of course if we win we are back within six which is okay considering We've had a kind of shaky start, I suppose you would say. Uh, it's pretty good to be that close to them, considering how much they're just powering through everybody at the moment. Um, now, I had a comment on the last video regarding the pronunciations of some of these players, so I'm going to give it a go uh, using those pronunciations. I might slip up again, because uh, I don't want to obviously be checking during the course of the video. It might take too long, but I'm going to give it a go, uh, and hopefully over time I'll get closer to the correct pronunciations. I don't think I've done too badly, all things considered, being a, a Scotsman. I don't think I've done too bad with these Dutch pronunciations. But nonetheless, um, as I say, we'll have a little look at that, and thanks to... Hold on. Thanks to BM de Young whose name I probably mispronounced there uh, for, for giving us the pronunciations there on YouTube in the comments section. Uh, so Joe Veltman, unfortunately unable to play at right back today due to an injury. Um, backboard there, uh, which is one of our new pronunciations, backboard unable to come in because he's injured, so Orihuela will come on. Um, Carl Eating, again, another new pronunciation, Carl Eating in there. Uh, he is able to step back in now, so Vober and Dykes can go further up the list and he can move down a little bit. Uh, Utrecht here at the Amsterdam Arena should be should be a win here. Hopefully a nice comfortable one at that. Uh, Nunnally is going to step in here for Zayet, who doesn't play because he doesn't fit the youth development system here. Um, see, I'm, I'm wondering what to do now with Carl Eating because he's done so well. He's developing well. Good young player and I think he could be a quality lad for us. Uh, Akelin Camp much younger and has a much bigger upside I think we want Clivert to continue playing we want Decker Nunnally and Sirhaus who is another new pronunciation we're working on today we want all of them to keep playing so I'm not sure what to do with young Carol there um, no I'm struggling to find a spot for him to be 100% honest he, he can be on the bench today I suppose <clears throat> and that makes the team Onana Orihuela Delight um, Zifoik, if I recall the pronunciation correctly on that one Savastano, Ekelenkamp uh, Van de Beek, Nunnally Clivert, Decker and Surhaus, so we're going with that and hopefully that can get us a victory over Utrecht they're playing uh, counter in formation today, three at the back two wing backs, three in the midfield and the two up top hopefully we'll have too much of them assertively I expect you to win today this is one of those games we should be winning. We're at home, we're the stronger team. Even playing the youth lads, I still think we're the stronger team. We've got the quality in there. The likes of Sirhaus and Clivert are, are just as good, if not better, than what Utrecht have in their first team. Nunnally as well, as a winger, is exceptional, uh, even though he's young. Ayub picking it up here for Utrecht, sends it in. Headed down, Bahebek flicks it goal, but it's easy for Onana there. So a half chance, if you'd like, for Utrecht, whose strip I actually really like there, that purple kit. <clears throat> Oof, a pass back to Onana, who's had to absolutely lob it. Brafhide heads it, Delight cuts her out, though, then it's to Nunnally. Clivert now looking in for Sir House. He's in, take a nice first touch on and then bury it. Nice first touch, shoots! Oh, he's put it wide. Oh, he has to finish that, I'm afraid. It was an excellent ball through, and he's missed. It's not a good finish. But here's hoping we can dig him out of the hole there. Decker in, Delight flicks it on. Zifoik does score. It's Deovezio Zifoik with the goal. We are up to second place now. Praise be. We'll be two points clear of Feyenoord, who'll have the one in hand. Three clear of Vitezzi, who will also have the one in hand. Uh, how do we rank up against PSV Eindhoven? They'll be nine behind with two in hand, I think. Uh, Van, de Beek put, Van de Beek puts her in, pardon me. Clivert nods her on. It's cleared by Ayub, though. Savastano to pick up. Let's get two before half time. Just secure this a bit. Oh, he's lost it, Savastano to Bahabek. It's a terrible touch. Jansen now trying to play it in behind. They've got a huge chance on the counter here. Dessels now. He's a bit outnumbered. Forced wide. Shoots. Oh, my days. How does he score that? Oh, Nana. I don't know what he's playing at there. It's an absolute hit and hope. 
from Dessers there, and I have no idea how he's got that beyond Onana. It's 1-1. One, one. It's a shocker from the keeper. Not the way we want it to be ending this half whatsoever. Puts us back down to third place. And this would be a shocker of a result, to be honest. Sir House has been terrible today. That 6.2 is not a good rating whatsoever. Aggressively not pleased. Um, question it. We'll take Nunnally off just because he's so tired. We'll bring in Zayec. And we'll bring on young Carl Eating now for Sir House. We'll put Cliver up top. We'll drop Eating back. And Van der Beek can be in there behind Cliver. Let's hope that gets us more success than Sir House did in the previous game. Decker to Eating and now with Kellen Camp. Good ball out wide, Savistano. Can we hit them quickly here? Savistano needs to put a good cross in. It really was his fault for the goal. It's in for Zayec. Oh, and that's some defending. Decker to with Kellen Camp and Van der Beek. Kellen Camp out wide right. Come on. Oh, he tries to flick it to Decker and they've cut it out. Possible counter on here. Dessers picking it up again and Savistano tracks back. Good man, Savistano. Well tracked back. It's a shame actually that Zayec couldn't win the header at the back stick there because it was an easy finish. But there is still action here. There's, we're definitely going to get something, I think. Or not. <laughs> at the start of the second half. Onana now, not, not long after, launches it towards Carl Eating. Can't win the header, but it will break for Clivert, who's very deep there. Kaelin Camp, Van der Beek. Kaelin Camp out to Zayec. Come on. Look at the man wide, wide in the right. Acres of space. Goes the other way. It's Decker now to Savistano. Cuts back. We're just... We're, just lacking that little bit of quality here to get through. Kellen Camp, Savistano, Van der Beek. It's a good ball. He hits it on. Oh, what a finish. We're back up 2 1 right at the start of the second half. What a finish. Belter of a hit. Savistano gets the assist, makes up a little bit for, for his poor touch that led to the equaliser. And we are back ahead. Savistano now again up there with the throw. Van der Beek now flicks it to Carl Eating, who's taken out in the box. Penalty given. And Zayec will take. Come on, make it three. Ten minutes into the half. 3-1, they'd be, they'd be crushed by that. Hakim Zayec steps up, hits the pen, and it's in. Lovely stuff. Praise be to the, to the players. The 50th league goal of his career. Good for him. Hopefully it raises his price for January when we're going to punt him. Or we're going to try and punt him anyway. Janssen, Van der Meer, forward, away by delight. Kaelin Camp flicks her on, Van der Beek picks her up, moves it for Cliver. It's a terrible ball though. Janssen, Dumich, looks way over the top for Bachebeck, who takes a lovely touch, squares it to Dessers, and Onana again is left wanting. What a terrible, terrible game he's having there. I mean... Just really poor. Really, really poor. And we're going to just switch in the last 20 minutes to just contain the ball. We're going to go. That's not a real highlight, is it? No, it's not. Right. We're going to go here to our three at the back formation. Uh, Zayech, since he's just been on, is not going to come off. Uh, let's see. Sivistan or if we'll Zifoit. Delight, Kaelin Camp, Eating, Van der Beek, Zayech, Clever. They're all fine. We will pull Gino Decker and we'll bring on... I guess we'll bring on Maximilian Vober into the back there and we'll just try and control the ball now. Praise them. Oh, Zayech. Now let's get a fourth. We get a fourth, we're all right. Zayech back to a Kaelin Camp. Thunders it. It's easily headed away though. A Kaelin Camp slows down, it seems, deliberately almost, but does... Boost Van de Beek out the way. Eh, Van de Beek, Bahebeck out the way. Just, just shoves him to the ground. Delight now. I don't like this high press from them. Orihuela, Van de Beek, Kellen Camp, Eating, Zayech, out wide. Lovely pass. Right, get a good cross in here, son, and let's bury this game. Orihuela's cross is really poor. Comes back to him to get a second chance at it. Goes back to a Kellen Camp. Carl Eating, bit of space to shoot. Does shoot. Oh, and it's just off the outside of the post. Decent effort for the young lad. We are now, however, going into the last 15 minutes and we only have the one goal lead here at 3 2. Tighten up now. Oh, 
thought that was going to be something. Let's try and contain the game. It is launched long. Delight should win the header here. Oh my god, what the hell? That clearly must have been a foul. Back in, what a save. Rebound off the post. Get rid of it. My god, man. Well, do you know what? If we win the game there, Onana gets off of being poor for the goals because what a save that is to deny um, Bahabek a goal. Drop super deep. Play safe. Just punt the ball clear. Let's just get the hell out of here. Five added minutes. Whistle, come on. Zayech corner takes it to a Kalen camp. Just hit it, son. Just do something. It's a terrible pass. And it's cleared and it is over. Thank God. Well done, lads. I don't care that they scored two and made it a lot dodgier than it should be. We got the win. Van der Beek is out for five to eight days. That's fine. Nunnally will get a pay rise after he makes one more appearance. He'll go up to five and a half grand. What does he get now? 3.8. It's not that much of a boost. And we have a little holiday now before this NAC Breda game that's coming up. <clears throat> so we will literally go on holiday boost through to get to that one <clears throat> I just want to talk a little bit about the youth development so obviously we still have the players like Onana like Zayech in the squad at the minute when we get to January uh, I'm probably going to try and sell anybody that's left and try and go through just with a 100% youth team the, the only thing I'm considering on that one is goalkeeper front because the young goalkeeper we have is frankly nowhere near good enough to play so I might keep Onana for the, for the rest of the entire season go up um, go up to summer with Onana still as the goalkeeper hoping, praying, keeping the fingers crossed that we get in a good goalkeeper in the youth intake because this 16 year old goalkeeper we have at the moment He's very, very raw. He needs a lot of development before he'll be ready. He's he's probably not even ready to play in the league below us. He's really, really, really raw. He needs youth football, frankly, before he'll be ready to play. And at the moment, we, we can't throw him in. We just can't. I mean, you've seen in that game there, Onana slipped up a couple of times. And he ended up almost costing us a game pulled off a cracker of the save actually at the end of the game there and managed to make sure that we won the game but I don't think I don't think we can throw that young goalkeeper in frankly maybe we throw him in in some games you know throw him in some cup games perhaps I've already done that once or twice we th bring him off the bench <clears throat> when we can you know if we've got good solid 3-0 leads or something we can bring him off the bench because we can afford to give up goals I just wondering perhaps and any thoughts any of you guys have regarding the goalkeeper situation uh, what should we do because the thing is we could throw him in and accept that it is going to cost us points that it might cost us any chance at winning the title or anything but the problem there is of course we could well just get sacked if that happens so I don't know oh a consortium planning on taking us over that's not great they might pump hundreds of money in but we don't we don't need money because we're not buying any players uh, our jong side did do well Robin Schutten 19 year old right back looks okay but never really going to be good enough I don't think going forward our under 19s as well Pascali did very well there the Australian uh, unfortunately he came from Melbourne Victory so doesn't qualify for our youth academy development uh, where are we international roundup etc Zayech wants to leave and join Juventus you know what Zayech you leave and join Juventus where is he can we talk to him uh, it doesn't look like it no he's wanted by Tottenham UV and Arsenal doesn't have a release clause and he's worth 11 million pounds do you know I'm going to offer him out for 25 million quid and see what happens 25 million quid could be enough to invest in youth facilities perhaps whether the board would do that or no I don't know but if we can get a 25 million quid bid for him I will snap it up as I say he doesn't qualify for our, our youth academy challenge so I really shouldn't be using him anyway if I was going to be super strict about that but we, we can't as I say the reality of the matter is we can't do that wow look at that PSV smashing 20 there or 20 or however you pronounce it 
Um, so we actually kick off first here. Here in Wiener against 20 later on. Feyenoord and VVV Venlo, who they'll probably annihilate. Um, Vitezzi tomorrow at Groningen. PSV at Zvoli, which actually could be tricky for them. Uh, Akelin Camp needs a rest. We will take him out for Karel Eating. There's no problem with that. Delight needs a rest. I don't really like that. Um, let's take the secondary goalkeeper off the bench. Uh, bring Joel Veltman up here. Put Veltman in for Delight. Delight needs a rest. We might as well give him it. Uh, Backboard actually here could come in. Uh, who do we take off the bench for him? Sink Great. Nah, Shona, I suppose. We'll work our way all the way up the bench here again. And Backboard will come in for Orihuela there. So we have more or less an entire 11 of Youth Academy boys. I think it's just Onana that's not. So we have Onana, Backboard, Veltman, Zefoik, Savastano, Eating, Van de Beek, Nunnally, Cliver, Decker and Sir House. That's going to be it again. How is young Kaiser House doing well? Well, he's doing pretty well there. Only 19. Has the potential there to be five-star player if he was to complete his development all the way. Hopefully he does. Let's get to it. Could be a tricky game here away from home. How is this Corte boy? Mm, he's alright. He's got pace. They're one of the weaker teams. That, um, these boys, I think Thomas Pong there as well is, is an alright player, but nothing more than that. Um, passionate, we're favourite for a reason. Go and make sure nobody's in any doubt as to why. Um, some motivations there for a couple of the lads on that one, which is nice. And we'll encourage them at the start of the game. So here's hoping we get a nice, comfortable victory away from home here. A lot of action in the opening 10. Bossing possession. We've got the only shot of the game as well, but nothing of import, of course. And Toko throws it to Vloe. Or Vloet. Cortez get too much room. He squares it. Oh, dear. And Enevaldson does score. It goes under Onana's hand. And I'm starting to wonder whether we might as well just throw that bloody youth goalkeeper in we were talking about. That is our last three goals now that have been direct goalkeeping errors from Onana. And it's not good enough. We'd be as well throwing the young man in. Corner now. Jesus, this just gets worse. Whipped in. Headed away though by Nunnally. Can somebody get to this? Nope. Mets will pick her up. Squares it. Far too easy. Puts it forward. How the hell they've got like a three on one here? I don't know, but it's a great challenge by Van der Beek. And it goes back to Onana who can kick this one long up the park. Puts it down at feet. Kicks it long. There you go. Towards Sir House. It's Metz that heads it away, but well done, Zefoik. Attacks the ball, gets it out to Nunley. We're looking a bit sloppy here. We need to tighten up these passes. Carl Eating forward for Sir House. Square it. Well done, Eating. And there's Nunnally in space. Gets to the byline. The striker's now in the box. Whips it. Gino Decker arrives, and it's a sitter. An absolute sitter from Decker at the back stick. But here we go, we're pressing forward now. Van der Beek's corner, whipped in. Zefoik and Veltman, there you go. Got back in into this one, one apiece. We're doing actually pretty decent from corners. Zefoik is always up there, actually, where they're getting the goal like he did last time, getting the assist there, nodding it down. Onana's goal kick now, let's get forward here and crush them. It's very deep, though, and it's easy for Angelino. Metz, Agipong. Oh dear, I don't like this. Vloet, he's too wide, he shoots his way over the bar. Never any real danger there. <clears throat> we're going in, looks like we're going in at half time at 1 1, which is not good. We'd be six points behind Hirenveen here. If we win, we can drop that back to only four. We'd be right in the title race if we won this game. You know, it'd be excellent if we could win the title in the first season with these boys. I'm not expecting it, but who knows? Sir so House has been poor again. Ditto Clivert and Gino Decker. Uh, there's not really many changes I can make, though. We're just going to have to demand more of what we already have. I think 
I'm okay with bringing the likes of Zayech on if players are tired, but I don't like to bring him on as a tactical change. As Sir House dribbles forward, lays it to Gino Decker. Go on, son, bend it in. Bends it in. It's header away, though. And Vloet will complete the clearances. Our first attack and a half comes to nothing. Veltman to Aiting and Van der Beek. I don't think we're going to get in here, but who knows. Nunnally now, looking at the edge of the box. Tries to play it out wide, and it's easy for Agupong. In of Oldson coming forward now. Well one comes back to Agupong. There's a possible chance for them here, actually. Vloet forward. Metz has played himself in. He shoots, and Onana makes a good save. It was nearly 2-1. Right at the start of the half there, we were right up probing their box, and then all of a sudden we're counting on Onana to make a great save. And here they come again, throw in. We're marking up tightly, but it still does go to one of their men. It's squared for Metz's and acres of room here. Angles it to Vloet, who can play it into Enivaldson, and it is, it's 2 1. How has he found that level of space again? Right, none of these the only one who's bloody tired enough to come off here. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep with the principle of the youth development. I'm not going to throw in Zayech for quality. Nunnally now. Right, a quick equaliser here. Ugh, nah, that's going to be it. That wasn't actually a real chance. We've not been good enough by, by a distance. Clivert's been poor. Decker, Sir House have all been poor. Right, I'm going to take Nunnally off for Zayech. Kellen Camp needs a rest, so I can't really play him. Although I'd like to push Cliver up front. Who could come on? I suppose De Jong can come on. And that'll be it, really. They need to go overload now, or we're going to end up losing this game. 20 minutes left. I'm going to bring Orihuela on as well because Buckboard is, is tired out there and is just coming back from being injured. But this, I think this game's over. I think we've lost it 2-1. Statistically, we've been the dominant side. Feyenoord have nicked a go-ahead goal really late in the game. Angelino lobbing it forward. Zifoik away. De Jong now forward for Cliver. Come on, you've got Decker wide left. Wide left, he's going to shoot. Awful. Absolutely abysmal from Cliver there. It's reflected in his 6.0 rating. He and Veen have gone and lost as well, and we haven't capitalised. This is a terrible result. This is this is worse than 6 0 at Heer and Veen. They created two chances basically all game. Onana makes an absolute arse of the first one. Then the second one, they just managed to play their way into a position they had no business getting into. Aggressively not good enough. This is the kind of result that's going to end up getting us fired. 14th place side beating us. Not good enough. Ajax manager Sam Steamy certainly does. That was a really poor result. That's our, that's our worst result since that here in Veen. Losing at Feyenoord is acceptable because they're a bigger side. Losing at them is at Nick Breda there is not acceptable. And we're going to need to pull something out next time against Chelsea to get at least a good performance in there. And all of a sudden it's not just, you know, it's not good enough that that we go out there and give a good performance against Chelsea. I, I really want a point at least now to show me something after that terrible performance. It's a downer to end the episode, I'm not going to lie. It is a, after beating Utrecht, we played really well against Utrecht as well. And then we went out and played like that. But I suppose... If you're being fair, that's what happens with young players. They go out there and they play a hell of a game sometimes, like 2-2 away against Porto, for example, and then sometimes they just go out there and have an absolute shocker, which is what we've had this time. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. hope you're enjoying following the young lads, at least in their development. If you want to follow them further, of course, you can subscribe to the channel here, which I would be greatly appreciative of. We're up at 2.05 now, which, uh, you know, great numbers growing there um, exceptional really pleased with it but mostly I just want to say thank you guys for watching that is the most important thing of course you can do to help the channel is continue to watch the videos uh, and of course the next video will be Chelsea and then Roda both at the Amsterdam Arena hopefully 
hopefully yielding four points out of that one. We need to beat Rhoda and at least want to draw with Chelsea, which is a big ask, but hopefully we can do it. I'll see you then.